Okay, let's see what it's like to run an event as a tournament organizer using the Best Coast Pairing app. We're gonna go to our event that we've created called Awesome 40K. And now we can go to our roster and see that our players are listed with inside. We have them all checked in so they're ready to go. They can do this remotely within 24 hours of the event. And once they are all checked in, then you're ready to begin. So while pre-registration is great, you certainly can add new players the day of the event. It's as simple as just hitting add new player and going through the same motions that a player goes through when they pre-register and check in. You put the appropriate email address, the first and last name of the player, the club name, the faction, and finally the self-scoring pin. When you are applying the faction, sometimes people get a little confused. They're, they'll go to pitch, push the button, they're like here I am hitting this iPad, and they won't notice that there is sub-factions within so that they can properly assign themselves and give more detailed representation of who they are representing. So once that player is registered, you get everybody checked in, then you are ready to begin your tournament. That is your main focus as a tournament organizer using the Best Coast Pairing app is to get all your players added to the event and checked in and you'll be ready to go to start that tournament. Of course, it is highly encouraged to be able to get your players to upload their list using the list upload ability here so that you can then view the list as you can see here so that people can see what they're up against and be able to digest the details and data of the particular events meta. Now that everyone is registered, checked in and ready to go, we're gonna go to the pairing section and begin. Let's begin the first round by hitting start tournament. The tournament has begun and the app will automatically pair your registered players. Okay, there you have it. There's our 10 players all matched up. This will all be remotely accessible to all the players involved. They will be able to see their pairings and be able to go to their tables. If you have your tables labeled, in this instance, one through five, your players know exactly where to go and the name of who they're up against, including the faction, their scores of their previous matches, and what their list is like if they've uploaded it. So it's all automated for you. You simply hit start tournament and you are ready to go. So now that we're up and going, to be able to submit the scores, the players will simply click on their pairing here and they will add the score that they have for themselves. Now in the player side of the app, they will each have to put in the self-scoring pin that they've selected for themselves. In the tournament side, you will be able to uh, put in the scores yourself without a required pin or be able to edit the scores after the fact in case there was any mistakes made. So we're going through, through here and putting some mock scoring going on. Okay, now that we have all of these scores submitted, we are able to go to the next round. All we do is simply hit the next round and automatically it pairs into the second round. What do you know? Now we can see our round two pairings, what tables they belong at and who they're up against. And this is all gonna be related to the current tournament results. So by clicking on the tournament result header there, this is something the players can see as well. We can see the first round scores, who won, who lost, and see where they're currently ranked. So we can see that Cat Amazing and Matt the Man are one and two right now. So if we go to our pairings, we can see that Cat Amazing and Matt the Man were paired up due to the fact that they were the top slots. And it will go down in cascading order, giving the, giving the players with the closest scores the next round of pairing. Another cool thing it does by, by putting in the names of the clubs is it does its best on the first round not to match up any one of the same clubs because obviously they usually travel together and play each other often. Another great feature of the app that you don't have to worry about as a tournament organizer and it's being taken care of for you. So the same process begins. Folks will put in their scores as you go along. Let's go ahead and rock that out. <clears throat> Okay, so we now have our second round of scoring submitted. We're able to go to the next round. Now remotely, once again, whether folks are at lunch or outside the building or in a conversation, you can say pairings are up and they can look at their device and be able to see who they're matched with and what table they belong at. Once further, if we go to our tournament results, we can see who's in the lead and who they should be matched up with. Looks like Cat Amazing and myself are neck and neck for first and second place. So if we were to go to our pairings and look at the final round, we can see that the top table is indeed Cat and I duking it out. The cool thing now is that as a player or as the organizer, you can back up and look at the details of the rounds. So we can see who is matched up round one, round two, and round three. So for instance, if we were looking at our tournament results and we saw that more pylon here, who's in fifth place, lost their second game and we didn't think they would be able to lose, maybe we'll go see who they were matched up with. We go to our pairings, we go to round two. You can see that he was matched up against Just Incredible. And in this case, we could go and look at the roster of Just Incredible and see that he was playing Dark Angels. If his list was uploaded, we'd be able to click on the list roster there and be able to take a look at what defeated more pylon. 
So it's great to be able to look at the details of the event all done automatically in real time happening right there at the event. So now that we have all three of our rounds in, simply the th final scores would come in and you would hit in tournament and you would be able to see your tournament results a scoring uh, rank there that you'd be able to provide prize support based on first second best factions etc all taken care of for you with the amazing best coast pairing app